We're exactly two months away from the presidential election, and the nation is not focusing on the candidates' platforms at the moment, but rather the fact they're ratcheting up their verbal attacks. The back-and-forth assaults came one day after they both appeared separately at a forum aboard a warship to press their case on national security issues. CBS's Craig Boswell has the latest from the White House. Donald Trump came to Cleveland to talk about education, but it quickly turned into a rant about Hillary Clinton. He accused her of flip-flopping on her email scandal. Every time she talks about the subject, it's different. She's got to get her act together. And called her trigger-happy for voting to go to war in Iraq. It's been a disaster. But he did not admit he also once supported the war. Had I been in Congress at the time of the invasion, I would have cast a vote in opposition. Clinton took aim at Trump's foreign policy proposals. She mocked his understanding of issues facing Israel. The best I can tell is only experience is marching in the Fifth Avenue Israel Day Parade. And said Trump's comments about Muslims are a this gift to jihadist a extremists. They are saying, oh, please, Allah, make Trump president of America. Clinton also blasted Trump for praising Russian President Vladimir Putin. That is not just unpatriotic and insulting to the people of our country, as well as to our commander-in-chief. It is scary. Clinton and Trump's verbal assaults come amid concern the Russians could launch a cyber attack on U.S. election systems. CBS News has learned elections officials across the country will soon receive an alert from the Department of Homeland Security. It will offer states specific preventative actions and protocols to safeguard their databases. Craig Boswell, CBS News, The White House. A government official acknowledged hackers have already successfully broken into election systems in Arizona and Illinois. FBI Director James Comey said the attacks would not affect the outcome of the election because each state has a different way of counting votes.